Welcome to part 2 of a Premiere Training revision video which looks at linear programming. We said in the previous video that linear programming is just a technical phrase that describes the process of representing data using a straight line. And in part 1 we saw how this is carried out by plotting points on a graph. And if you haven't seen part 1 yet, please do so first before continuing as it'll help you understand this one a little more clearly. In this video, we'll look at how linear programming is carried out using formula. Remember, we said that linear programming is useful where there are two limiting factors, as it can help us work out the optimum production plan needed to maximise contribution. These limiting factors may include a limit on the amount of material we can acquire, and at the same time, a limit on the number of labour hours available. We also showed how plotting points on a graph could show us what this optimum production plan is. It was the point of intersection for our two lines of production. And from our graph, we estimated that approximately 290 alphas and 460 betas needed to be produced to maximise contribution using our limited resources. However, we really need to know the exact number, not an approximation. So in this video, we're going to see how this can be calculated accurately using simultaneous equations. Let's bring up the same data we used in the previous video. In our example, we were told that in the next period, the materials would be limited to 5,940 kilograms, and that labour was also limited to 1,800 hours. And we explained that whatever the optimum production plan is, the total materials available, 5,940 kilograms, will all be used up, and will equal the number of alphas produced times the amount of material needed to produce each alpha, 6 kilograms plus the number of betas produced times the amount of material needed to produce each beta, 9 kilograms. And then, by using the letter A for alpha and B for beta, we're able to state this as an equation. 6A plus 9B equals 5,940. We then followed the same principle for the 1800 limited labour hours, and stated that the total hours available will equal the number of alphas produced times the 3 hours needed to produce each alpha, plus the number of betas produced times the 2 hours needed to produce each beta. And this resulted in the equation 3a plus 2b equals 1800. we now have simultaneous equations. And this is just mathematical jargon, meaning we have two equations happening at the same time. There'll be values for both A and B that work for or are common to both equations, and these values when found will provide the optimal production plan for alpha and beta needed to maximise contribution. That is, the exact point of intersection we established on our graph in the previous video. There are several different mathematical approaches to doing this, one of the most common being through elimination, and by manipulating either one or both of the equations, we'll be able to eliminate either A or B, which will lead us to solving both. Looking closely at our two equations, we can see that if we multiplied 3A by 2 in our second equation, this would give us 6A, which features in our first equation. So, this would seem to be a sensible place to start. However, we'll need to multiply the whole equation by 2, and not just the 3a bit. Doing this, and multiplying both sides by 2, gives us a new equation, 6a plus 4b equals 3600. 3a times 2 is 6a, 2b times 2 is 4b, and 1800 times 2 is 3600. 
Now, both our equations have 6a showing in them, and we can go about eliminating a from our calculations by deducting this second equation from the first. 6a minus 6a is 0, so these cancel each other out. 9b minus 4b is 5b, and 5940 minus 3600 is 2340. So, 5b equals 2340. And by dividing 2340 by 5, we can establish that b, the number of beaters we need to produce, is 468. Now we have this value for b, we can use it in either of our original equations to work out a, the number of alphas to produce. Let's use the equation 6a plus 9b equals 5940. This can be rewritten substituting the letter b with the value for b, 468. So this gives us 6a plus 9 times 468 equals 5940. 9 times 468 is 4212. So 6a plus 4212 equals 5940. Next, by deducting 4212 from both sides, we arrive at 6a equals 1728. And finally, by dividing both sides of the equation by 6, we can establish that a, the number of alphas to produce, is 288. So, using simultaneous equations, we've worked out that the best production mix to maximise contribution using our limited resources is to produce 288 alphas and 468 betas. Compare this with a graphical method used in the previous video, where we worked out that we'd need to produce approximately 290 alphas and 460 betas to maximise contribution. The figures for alpha and beta are broadly the same, but by using simultaneous equations, we get the precise figure. I hope you found this video helpful. And thanks for watching.